What is up, everybody? We are back with a new game called Tunic. Uh, this is actually an older game, 2022. It became a free game of the month. I believe it was last month. So, the month of May. And I think this is going to be a perfect time to play this game. This is a game that I heard a lot about after it came out. Not necessarily when it did come out. I um, heard a lot of really, really good things about this game. I checked it out. As you can see, there is a continue. I checked it out for just like 5 to 10 minutes. And it seemed like a really cool game. There's a lot to look forward. I would say the, the art style is very charming. Cute. Unique. Um, and yeah, it, I, I heard that it just blends a lot of elements from old retro games and makes it a little bit more modern, mixes it with more modern gameplay. So, let's go ahead and check it out and see how it is. No, oh, actually, no, not load game. We're going to go ahead and just start a new game. So here we are, we play as a fox. Um, the way he's dressed, every time I looked at like the cover art and everything, it always reminded me of Blink. I'm pretty sure that's intentional. I don't know, I can't say for sure. So it seems like we are able to roll and like go fast or maybe even dodge. And as you can see here, there's like some type of strange language. This world has its own language, it seems like. I don't know if there's going to be some way for us to decode that or not. Hey, we got a stick. But like I said, I did play like the very beginning of this game, so I was able to get this stuff already. For the most part, this game is all brand new to me. I haven't seen anything, no like spoilers or anything like that, so it'd be interesting. I'm curious to see like how challenging it is. We can lock onto targets. The this looks like so much like like Link, like Zelda. The way when you like lock onto enemies, how it, how he like his stance and everything. So hero's grave to the right. We need a key to go over there though, or something. Yeah, it seems like some type of key. so far seems very soothing. Down. Down to the left. So it seems like the statue just, we go from day to night, but like a whole day passes. So there's going to, must be something to do with that at some point in the game. I gotta say this game reminds me, oh, and yeah, as you can see, it seems like the enemies respawned after we did that. This game reminds me a lot of that one game, Crow... What was it called? Oh no, not, not Crow. It's called Death's Door? The, art, the way... 
looks, it reminds me a lot of it. I'm wondering if it's gonna be similar to that. It also kind of reminds me of an old game called Fez. That was a 2D game, but just like the music and everything reminds me of that game. Okay, so it seems like we're obviously turned blue. But I don't know what that means exactly. It's like as if this was like our spirit or something. The only reason I know that I can do this is because I got this far when I was playing it. So it looks like an adult fox. Don't know if we know them at all or What's going on with them? I'm trapped. Okay, we're back out. Sealed forever. I have no idea what that was all about. Pretty sure if we go this way. Oh, look, never mind. There is a key. There's a key and there's a telescope. We can kind of see what's going on on this side. Even though we can't. Yeah, we can't go over here yet. Key to this door now, and this is exactly where I stopped playing. So from here on out, everything's gonna be new to me. So beginning your adventure, it gives us kind of like a checklist: ringing the east bell, ringing the west bell, with like the east forest, hero's grave, guard captain. On the right, we have uh, that door that we entered. It says, in a far off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. And then we can see, I don't know if the fox's name is Tunic. For now, I'm just going to call him Tunic. We can see Tunic questioning what he's seeing on page 28. Right now, we're on page 10. And then a little explanation of what's going on on our screen so like our hub we see we can our we have our health is that pink bar green is that the stamina and then eventually we'll get a blue bar for magic and that's all we got so we got page 10 and 11. So i'm guessing we're going to keep going and collect more of these pages as we go on treasure chest here that seems like it was already opened. Right, oh, I see a treasure chest. Let's get that.
Did we get anything for collecting those things? Oh, you can run holding X. Okay, that's pretty nice to know, actually. We can go left, we can go right. Oh, here we go, East Bell Tower. Okay, a little bit more about controls. L2, how you lock on, R2 shield, R1 potion. So X, it's saying that you can read with X, you can jump with X, and you can high jump with X? Okay. What do we got here? Oh, once again. So, yeah, I just gotta remember that those statues pretty much just mean cycle into the next day. So now we got the East Forest, so just something that I just want to point this out. Ringing the East Bell, it says we have to go t through the East Forest first. And that checklist right there, so. Guessing this is step one. Oh, okay. It's already getting a little bit tougher, honestly. Ah. So those, like, golden dots seem to boost my stamina, but they don't give me any health points. I'm already gonna be Anita. Hero's grave this way. But what's back here? enemies. So play don't die right now. No. Oh my god. The so next day I'm dead. For sure. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I don't have a shield. Oh, but there's a chest right there. Well, guess we gotta find out what happens when you die. There it is. So you die. Where do you respawn? Oh, you got. Oh. Wait, does this happen every time that you die?
What the heck? So we kind of just like stumbled into that door and it was as if we got the power of mortality. Do it this time. Oh. Interesting. So these things are worth something. Or else why would... Yeah, why would I be able to collect, recollect them? Here we go. Potion. I can go down this way. So now, our, now that we have that R1, that's gonna be clearly to gain, to regain our health. So is this another tech point right here? Let's see if this if we yeah, so this gives us full health. Those little stations. And another page. Target lock. So L2 plus plus X. Focus and evade. L2 plus R2 is focus and block. Okay, so it's saying when you're like, when you have dust, when you dodge and you have dust, you're invulnerable. You're essentially like inv invincible in that, in those moments. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Let's see what this sign says. Hero's grave is this way. Oh man. Oh man. They're gonna come down here? Oh my god. I almost got him. Pink. No. I had him. We got him this time for sure. Oh no, should we have had them? I'm gonna destroy this? Okay, let's see if we can do that again. There we go. I go up here without. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So it seems like you can kind of stun them with your hits. Probably just certain enemies. This is good. Oh, it's gonna open the gate. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, so we're back at the guardhouse. Now we're just on the other side. Oh, that is nice. I love when games do that. We have like part of some type of like shell or something. Ooh, this guy looks tough. Oh, the guard captain. Oh my god. Damn. Now we have to come back too to get... Our stuff. I guess we can go this way though. Oh yeah, we can. I don't know if I want to face him yet. And I say that because I'm pretty sure I saw our shield. I want to see if I if we can go ahead and just collect that. So yeah, over here. Wait, am I wrong? Well, I mean, there's clearly something in here, actually. I thought up here... Huh, maybe I'm wrong. I, I swear I thought I saw a shield up there. Yeah, so this is East Forest Hero's Grave Guard Captain. So like to me that sounds like go in that order. So like get the guard captain last. Ow. Should we have him come over here and... Alright, there we go. We have this little path up here. Aw, oh, man. Is I supposed to lead him up here? Sword now. Ooh, yeah. There we go. That's nice. And now we can get this chest over here.
Not, it's still not like easy or anything. Damn. Alright, now yeah. <laughs> There's no way I was gonna be able to do that. Damn. I was trying to get rid of the smaller one first. I got him, I got him. Barely made it, but got him at the last hit. Alright, is this gonna be our shield? Nope. Or potion. But now we can hold two. Which I guess we should use right now. Ah, now we made it to the East Bell Tower. This, and there's also these stairs right here. Yep. Oh, I saw it. Corner. Alright, let's see. Anything happening or example is right here? A nice little map. This is the overworld. Being the West Bell. So, you can kind of see ourselves on the right side. That's where we are. Right next to the East Forest entrance. Under the well. Oh, so, we can go in the well. Storm, a type of slime who just wants to be close to you. Stun it by blocking. Auto bolt. It wants to protect something, but what? Circle around and use the shield. Zip, use shield. Yeah, this is really interesting though. Map. You can see the sealed temple. That's where we were before as well. So here we go. I'm gonna create a path this way. Yeah, there we go. Create that nice little shortcut. From here, now we can go to the left. We're, we're pretty close, but... Um, since we did the first area of the game already, kind of just like an introduction, I'm going to go ahead and just cap it off there. So, 
gonna continue playing this for sure. This is a game that is definitely interesting me. There's a lot of like really cool, like the, these pages that you collect. I think it, it just adds like an element to a game of like, I don't know, like like this under the well. Now now I have the map for under the well. So a lot of like mystery or like things to find in the game that can help you out. But it doesn't tell you exactly what it is also in some cases. The weird language is pretty interesting too. Kind of like, for example, on the left, you just kind of have to like decipher what it's saying, right? It doesn't really tell you anything other than like the X button, but like, kind of just have to like go ahead and guess what it's saying, what it means. So, pretty cool. I like it. And in terms of the difficulty of the game as well, like so far, it's not easy necessarily. Um, it's not like super hard or anything, but there, I mean, there was definitely some moments where I was kind of struggling at the beginning with just the wood stick. Once you get the sword, it helps a lot more, but even then I still died like two to three times with the first boss or guard captain, whatever you want to call it. So, definitely pretty cool. And then I, I can already tell I'm going to enjoy it. And even that, that sound right there reminds me a lot of the, a lot of a game called Fez. I don't know why this is giving, giving me those vibes, the music. And you haven't heard of Fez, I would definitely recommend playing it. It's a super cool game. So, I, I, it makes me wonder, like, developers of the game. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And peace.